Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number 12, the final war of the season. And we're going up against an alliance. I cannot say their name, but there you go. We're going up against this alliance here. So let's check out who we got. Oh, no. Oh, man. So I've been getting by with uh, Spider-Man 2099. Nobody banning him. But it looks like they got wise to him. I can't blame them. They got wise to him. Wait. Yep, they got rid of Human Torch. Okay. And, uh, okay. And Ghost. All right. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, man. That sucks. All right. Let's preview. Let's see who we got. All right, so I got path three, sections one and two as usual. Um, so if I can't bring in uh, Spider-Man 2099, I think I'm gonna bring in uh, Nick Fury. That's what was gonna happen. So yeah, we got uh, Captain Marvel movie, we've got Magneto. Uh, Claire can do both those fights. So can... Um, well, Nick Fury can do that first fight for sure. And then we have mm, Ebony Maw. Now, see, I would have normally gone in with um, uh, Spider-Man 2099 against him. Starting to see a pattern. That's why they got rid of my Spider-Man 2099 and Human Torch. Hmm. Here's another uh, in the middle, long shot. They got another uh, Mystic. They probably have Mystic, um, a Mystic uh, boss. I'll bet you. Um, all right, so we got Apocalypse here. Mm. Yeah, I'll probably leave him alone. <laughs> if I have to, I'll fight him with a Warlock. And okay, so we've got uh, Bishop here. Now, this is interesting because I could take this with uh, Claire. But I could also take it with uh, Warlock against Bishop. We'll see. Uh, probably to use Claire unless she's just really hurt. And we've got Nimrod, my nemesis. Uh, Claire can do that fight. So I'll probably just take it with Claire. And then that mini up there. Hmm. Warlock. All right. Yep, what I tell you? A mystic boss, Mangog. I knew it. I knew it. I would have tore him up with Spider-Man 2099, and they knew it. And Human Torch would have also tore him up. Okay. Well, see, they also got that mojo. Yeah. Nick Fury could do that fight. I think Black Widow might be able to do that fight too. Hmm. We'll see if we get there, but I'll go in. I'll, I'll bring in Nick Fury. And uh, we'll see how well we do. Yeah. Yeah, looks like that's what I'll do. All right. Let's get on with the fighting. All right, I'm back. And this is the team that I'm gonna be going in there with. Oh man, it's the final war of the season. Let me tell you, that feels good. Now, at the time of this recording, season is already over, we're in the off season. And if you haven't seen my season opening, go check it out. It was fire. Oh my goodness, it was the best one that I have had in a while. So definitely check it out. All right, so last war of the season. At this point, doesn't really matter. We know we're gonna be in Platinum 4, uh, even if we lose this war, but I'm still gonna boost up. I'm still gonna play the way that I always play. That's just me. First fight, we got uh, Captain Marvel. And this fight goes pretty smoothly, uh, fairly straightforward. She doesn't act like 
she can sometimes act where she's crazy aggressive. She then dashes back and fires her special while you're still trying to evade from her uh, faint, pretty much, because that's what she'll do. She'll be like, attack, 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 dash, and then fire the special. And you're like, okay, the last time she did three attacks. So I'm gonna dash, 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 and that final dash, she got you. And so I really, really don't like fighting her when she's in that mood, but she wasn't in that mood today. So we got her down pretty straightforward and easy. Next up, we've got Magneto. Now Magneto is really annoying because there's so many champions that are hashtag metal. But Clairvoyant is not hashtag metal. So she's perfect for dealing with this Magneto. All right, so I don't have to worry about being magnetized and I can just fight him like normal. Nothing uh, too crazy about this fight. Uh, I hate his special too, but I have learned to evade it. So, you know, we can do that. But as you see here, I'm trying to bait out his special one. He don't want to throw it. L look at the time I'm taking in war. And this is affecting things because now if you're tied up, they're going to go to the length of the fight. Well, look at this. I'm, tr I'm trying to bait out the special. And he will not fire that special one. I'm like, all right, fine. And of course he fires the special two immediately, which lets you know he was holding for it. And I and I just said, you know what? Just go ahead, fire your special two. That's what you want to do. It's really annoying, really, really annoying, but it happens, it happens. Um, I don't know if the node has anything to do with it, but I've seen that behavior even without a node. So the node may have uh, enhanced it, but yeah, that's really annoying, okay? So we got him down without uh, any difficulty, except for him not wanting to fire that special one. Now for this fight, you guys need to pay attention on this fight. The most dangerous part of a fight is the final few percentages of their health. That's when they get all kind of crazy. Now. These guys, instead of seeing unstoppable armor like we've been seeing all season, they did mystic dispersion. All right, so I'm not familiar with fighting against this, okay? But it's all good. So what we wanna do is we wanna hit a heavy attack uh, whenever we can. So like right there, boom, that resets his little uh, focus, breaks his concentration. Did I break your concentration? Anyway. Breaks his concentration, so you want to fire heavies off. Look at this. We are doing perfectly. This is going great, okay? Look at this. Look at this. This is why I want to fight with uh, Nick Fury. You're going to see at the end. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. Look at him. He's almost dead at this point. Whoops. Boom. That was the life. Gone. Did y'all see that? If that had been somebody else, that fight would have been over right there with him at that little percentage. That's why I like Nick Fury for any shenanigans. I mistimed it. I'm not blaming the AI or anything like that. I mistimed it and the falter caught me in the middle and he countered. And because of the node with all of those Furies and everything, it was like an attack. My health went pow, gone in what? Two hits or something like that. It was crazy. But because it's Nick Fury, it only got rid of the life model decoy and I was able to finish the fight. Love my Nick Fury. All right, so as you saw, I scrolled over so you could see that the war is pretty much over. I just need to clear off uh, my path and we're done. So at this point, I am really trying not to die. I don't wanna die. Uh, I looked at our score and I think the fight at this point was fairly close and so i didn't want to be the one to die on my path so again boosting up as i normally do and i chose to go in with warlock because warlock i've fought against bishop before but slight problem because of this node 
All right, so I want you guys to watch Warlock's health. All right, a lot of block damage. And I'm watching his health as well while I'm fighting, all right? Look at his health. It's going down fast. I'm like, uh-oh, did I make a mistake bringing in Warlock? I don't want to bleed, Bishop. All right, I fired that special two off, and I'm like, okay. I had to wait it out so that it didn't keep stacking, and we finished him. I got really nervous when I saw my health just melting away from those incinerates. I was like, ooh, did I make a mistake? But we got him down. Normally, I would go in with Black Widow Clairvoyant on that node, and I think I'll be doing that from now on because that was too scary. No. I can always put her in Hellfire. I don't have to worry about that. We'll get him down. All right, now we've got Nimrod. He's not on the uh, mini node, at least, but it seems like people are going to keep putting him in my path. It's okay. I got y'all. I know some of y'all are watching this video and y'all keep putting Nimrod on the mini and, and, and in my path. That's cool. Gives me a lot of practice fighting him. That's all. Bring it. Bring it. Anyway, so we're fighting him. Claire is stripping away the armors. As you see here, I blocked it and I'm a little nervous because I don't want his special two to suddenly be unblockable. I still don't know why it goes unblockable every once in a while. There, you see that right there? Unblockable. And I'm like, oh my goodness, really? So I wasn't really quite prepared for the unblockable, but it didn't catch me completely flat-footed. All right, so I'm just like, all right, that's cool. Here's another unblockable. Boom, got that one. All right, so I'm ready for it. I got it. All right, here we go. Got a little bit more health, not that I need it. All right, and then here we go. Finished him. And that was that. So that was my final fight of this war. Uh, not too bad. We cleared our board. And uh, we have the advantage at this point in time. So uh, in a moment, we'll be back. And I'll show you guys how this war and the season ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Let's take a look. You can see uh, the score is pretty close. Like I said, we were pretty close. Let's uh, go down here. Um, I forget. I think someone did not place one of their defenders. For some reason, I'm not sure why not, but um, we should have had 150 diversity, but we didn't. And as you can see here, we uh, got less kills, all that good stuff. Shout out to the MVPs. And that is going to do it. So we ended the season with a win. And by this time, you guys have already seen how we finished the season. Uh, if you didn't, go check out the opening uh, Alliance War Season 33, uh, and I think I said rewards opening or something like that. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.